Welcome to the 2024 Safe Street Summit, embracing bicycle and pedestrian safety and mobility. My name is Eileen Boucle, and I'm the Executive Director of the Miami-Dade Transportation Planning Organization, and we are your host along with Broward and Palm Beach Metropolitan Planning Organizations. And let's get started. Hi, I'm Paul Shares, the Public Involvement Officer for the Miami-Dade Transportation Planning Organization. We're going to go around and ask our exhibitors a couple questions to paint all the questions. Why did your agency get involved with the Safe Street Summit as a sponsor? Hi everyone, my name is Alyssa Goldberg and this is Ivan Jimenez and we are with and we are with EXP US Services. We are diamond level sponsors this year for the Safe Street Summit. Our agency got involved with the Safe Street Summit because we believe that safety is the utmost important thing when it comes to transportation. Everyone is a pedestrian at some point in their journey and it's really important to make sure that everyone gets home safely. Jeremy Mullings. Director of South Florida Commuter Services. South Florida Commuter Services is a diamond level sponsor. The reason we are participating with Safe Street Summit, again, being one of the original sponsors of Safe Street Summit, is that it's absolutely worthwhile. This message needs to be heard. Every forum, every venue where we can push personal mobility, micro mobility, making it more attractive and safer, we're always gonna be there to take advantage of it. My name is John Janis. I'm here representing Freebie. We are silver sponsors of the Safe Street Summit. Uh, we're here because we love what Safe Streets is accomplishing and what the goals are, and any way we can be a part of that is our honor. Hello, my name is Destiny Ferguson. And I'm Jeb Ross. And we're with the Corradino Group. We're a diamond level sponsor here at the Safe Street Summit. And we decided to become a sponsor because we wanted to come and show our support uh, to the communities and the municipalities that govern them who have become the foundation for what we do. So we sponsored the Safe Street Summit now for, for many years and have been involved since the beginning of the event over 10 years ago. It's a great event because it brings leadership, rank and file consultants and staff, political representatives and national speakers together, all to reinforce a fantastic message. Brian Shuford, Bus Pass, and we are silver sponsors. We got involved with the Safe Streets uh, event because we are a new company and we wanted to get word out about our AI powered smart bus stop sign and its benefits for pedestrian and bicyclist safety. Hi, my name is Lisa Nissenson. I'm from WGI and we're proud to be a silver level sponsor this year. Well, first of all, we have sponsored this conference numerous times. It's one of our favorites. And with the new emphasis on safe streets, we are here to show off our offerings and services related to complete streets, safe streets, and new ways to rethink your infrastructure. Hello, my name is Quentin. I work for EcoCounter and I'm a silver sponsor of the Safe Street Summit. This is our third year sponsoring the summit. Uh, we work with local actors like MPOs and cities here. Uh, I am Rodolfo Roman with Infinite Source Communications and we are a uh, silver sponsor. Infinite Source Communications has previously attended other summits and by far this is probably one of the best ones. It's a great opportunity uh, for us to learn and engage with other companies and network and get to know a little bit about what's going on in the world of transportation. Hi, my name is Carlos Hoya. I am a co-founder and CEO of Joyride Global Experiences, a mobility technology company, and we are proud to be a silver sponsor in this phenomenal event. Safe streets, basically, in our cities, and uh, we are big proponents of that. Uh, we believe in the importance of generating conscious around this important subject. So that's what brought us here today. Uh, Victor Herrera, BCC Engineering, and we're a platinum sponsor today. We've been engaged with DTPW for some time, providing consulting services on the Vision Zero. We see the benefit of the initiative and what they're trying, the message they're trying to convey to the community. Well, hi, I'm Wyatt. I'm here with Lorraine. We're with Atkins Realis, and we are really proud to be silver sponsors at the Safe Street Summit. It's really important for Atkins Realis to be a partner with the TPO and the three MPOs down here in Southeast Florida. And we really care about safe streets and improving our bicycle and pedestrian conditions throughout the state of Florida. Danny Iglesias with CTS Engineering. I'm here with Stephanie Morell, and we're platinum sponsor for the Safety Summit because we believe it's very important to get the message out with the respect to different mobilities. And in this particular case, we're talking about bicycles this year. My name is Vince, I'm with TriRail and we are silver sponsors here at the Safe Street Summit. 
uh, we became sponsors of the Safe Street Summit uh, because we support uh, multimodalism and for folks to get safely to and from our transit system. My name is Ken Reinhardt. I'm a volunteer leader with AARP, uh, which is a silver sponsor for the Safe Street Summit. AARP became a sponsor because transportation is a critical part of our mission in that we uh, deal with uh, promoting the uh, benefit and welfare of older adults as we age. Hey, uh, I'm Dan and, and this is Blake. Uh, we're with Streetlight and we are silver sponsors of this event. So we uh, you know, have just been involved in a lot of safety programs lately and we've, we've seen um, a lot of safety on roads being uh, especially important, especially with Safe Streets and Roads for All. And because we provide a, a big data solution that can help support these projects, we really wanted to make our presence here and um, have a booth and silver sponsorship. Hi, my name is Carmen Monroy. I'm a senior transportation planner with Stantec Consulting. And we are a silver sponsor of Safe Streets because it makes a real great opportunity to discuss good community planning, which is what is at the core of Stantec's work. Hi, my name is Janelle Lia Liu. I'm here with Caltrain Group and we're a silver sponsor. So basically we are very pro multimodalism. Uh, we believe that this is a great cause and we understand that this particular one was based on bicycle and pedestrians. And that to us, that's very important as an engineering company. Miami-Dade Parks was really excited to be a gold sponsor this year and contribute the pop-up park, which you see all around on the main floor. It's really important to embed ecology in all of the Safe Streets projects. So we're so grateful to be here and represent Parks. As a Safe Street Summit sponsor, what message would you like to give about bicycle pedestrian mobility? Everyone is a pedestrian at some point in their journey and it's really important to make sure that everyone gets home safely. Bicycle, pedestrian activity, e-scooters, personal mobility is what I like to call them. They are the future. Our program is about regional trips, but typically that train is gonna drop you off and you're still gonna have a little distance to travel to get to your final destination. We need to be paying more attention to micro-mobility, personal mobility. We all work together. We can solve these problems that are facing us. Traffic congestion, safety for pedestrians, for cyclists, uh, and get people where they need to go. Yep, and we're definitely committed to helping our clients and our communities improve their quality of life through sustainable and resilient planning. Safe Streets is really at the foundation of Streets for All. We see a lot of potential here in Florida. We've got great weather. You know, it's flat and I think there's great opportunities here to for active transportation. Bicycle and pedestrian mobility is key here in South Florida and it is something that uh, everywhere all over here in South Florida and even the state is trying to improve and coming here to the summit is something that is worth worthy uh, and newsworthy and is something that everyone should learn about uh, because it's the future. We've added more years to our life, but how can we add more life to our years? and a, a way to be healthy is walking and biking our cities. And this is why this event is so important and we're so happy to be here because of that. But the message we wanna get, get across is the importance of community, uh, connecting uh, the individuals from all ages uh, within the communities to, to really see the assets that are here in Miami-Dade County. Atkins Reales is assisting City of Miami, Miami-Dade County, and other municipalities with their Vision Zero plan. And we're working with projects such as the Commodore Trail, Rickenbacker Master Plan, Verica PD&E, which are areas of high traffic volumes, not only for vehicles, but also bikes, pedestrians, multimodal. Each year, there's more and more folks riding bicycles and walking within the area. The important thing to remember is the safety belongs to all of us, including those people that ride bicycle. It's very important that we get the message out that as we grow bigger and bigger in the South Florida area, we have other means of transportation with bicycle being one of the key important factors and also our safety in respect to the people that also use our sidewalks. In this particular case, are pedestrians. The trial system is very bike and ped friendly. Uh, we have a bike locker program where you can store your bike at our stations as well as bike cars on board to make it easy to get to and from the train. Just want to make sure that, you know, when projects are uh, being completed, that there's, you know, monitoring of bicycles and pedestrians as well uh, for safety and, and planning. That safety is everyone's responsibility, but mostly it's our individual choice to be safe every single day.
is that we still have a lot of work to do. We've been at this for a long time in Florida, but, but we still kill more pedestrians and cyclists per capita than most states. And we've got a lot to do to undo the way our roadway transportation system works and make this a safe multimodal environment. The new products that are coming on the market, including the bus pass sign, and how this technology can improve mobility and safety for vehicles, passengers, and pedestrians. We want to get people out of cars onto alternate means of transportation, and this is a forum to understand better how we can facilitate that. We need to collaborate among the different modes, and by doing that, we need to promote more studies and we need to market these services as well. It's so important to take the environmental considerations into the budget and project proposals for every project for safe streets. So on behalf of parks, we just want to make sure that the message is clear. Definitely add green to your future streets. That you won't have people biking and walking if they don't feel safe. And that way, safe streets is really at the foundation of Streets for All. Describe your participation in the Safe Street Summit in one word. Describe the Safe Street Summit in one word, it would be timely. It's community strengthening. Committed. Committed. Next year. Data. It's exciting. Important. Inspirational. Fantastic. All in. It's multimodal. It would be community. A collaboration. Education. Charismatic. Impactful. Important. The artificial intelligence. One word to describe Safe Street Summit. It is absolutely worthwhile. I don't have one word, man. You cannot assess this in one word. There's too much to be said about this. I hope you accept that answer. And that's a wrap. Thank you for attending the 2024 Safe Street Summit, embracing pedestrian and bicycle mobility and safety. From Miami-Dade Transportation Planning Organization to all of you, we appreciate your support and your commitment to this very important topic. Let's continue the conversation, let's reverse the trend, and let's make our community safer for bicycles and pedestrians. Thank you.